Hi, welcome back to my channel, Miss Damn Jewelry. I'm Dolores, and today I have a haul that I got in Suffolk. Yes, I went down south to see my friends, Paul and Sam, last week, and when I was there, Sam and I nipped into some charity shops, because it'd be rude not to. So, let's get into what I got. Now, I thought the prices were gonna be more expensive down south. They were. They're really good. Some of the prices were really good. So let me show you what I got. So I went to a couple of different places. So these are from all different places. I didn't video in there because I wasn't sure I'd never been in these charity shops. Well, I had, but it was years ago. So I didn't know. I just thought, let me just go in and see if they have anything. So I did. And they did. So the first thing I got was, I don't even remember where I started. Okay, so let's just start with this. I got this little biscuit and butter press. And it's so cute. And it's this little box. Now, it was two pound, and they did put the sticker on it, on the paper. So now I have to get it off. Hopefully the hair dryer thing will work. So I will show you what's inside. And I don't think it's particularly old, <clears throat> but it's got this little press that you press into butter pads. It's like little acorns, little leaves, little acorns. And that's the top. Yeah, it's the leaf and acorns. That's what it show you. It, that's what it shows you what it is. And it had the instructions, which you know I thought were fun. So it has this little recipes and cooks tips. This little book here. It's got all kinds, and it has all the different ones you can get. All the designs, choice of designs, and I'm trying to see the company. Stewart and Houghton, or Houghton, makers of fine gifts. Well, yes, you are, because this was super cute. And I really liked it. I just thought it was fun. It goes like that. That's the way up. So I thought that was fun for two pound. I went mad at it. So I bought that. The next thing I got, like I said, these are all from different places. I got this. This was, I love these things. I have sold these before. These little like jelly molds, but they're more decorative because they have a little hole for the, to hang them on your wall. There were some other ones. There was an orange one, like with oranges on it and with lemons. They were chipped, and I mean they were chipped well. So they chipped really easy around here because that's where it's quite, it's a little bit thinner there. So the other two were chipped, but I got this for pound ninety nine, And I thought it was cute. It'd be cute in the kitchen or whatever. And it's like I said, it's a really good condition. There's no chips or cracks, no fuss, no muss. It's in really good shape. So I got that which I would love to. I'd like to have lots of these to put on my kitchen wall. Like I have any room for anything else in my house. I do not, but I would find room. So there you go. So then I got this guy here. Now I do like these little sugar pours. I have sold these on my Etsy before and haven't done too bad with them. And this was one pound 49. And it has just on the tip, it says stainless steel and then the number 1818. You're not going to be able but I got that. It needs to be cleaned up a little bit. It's a little bit doity. But, child, I mean, yes, please. So I got that. Then I got, what else, what else, what else? I got, okay, oh, this. We walked in and I saw this straight away. And I actually hem hard about it. Okay, but it's this. Look at that vase with the giraffes. It's so their little faces look <laughs> and that's the back now there is one little unglazed it's, this is not a chip it's like where the glaze goes over that little white part so it's obviously where the color glaze didn't go over it but you can feel it's glazed it's not chipped at all so that's a, and here oh there's a little chip there oopsie there's a little chip there. but is that a chip again it feels like the glaze goes over it so Nonetheless, I will list this in my Etsy shop. I will disclose the little issues on the vase, but it was £3.49. Oh. No. Sure, there it is. And is that a little, it's a little higher than I would pay, but I've never seen one with the <laughs> giraffes on it. And I just thought, I couldn't leave it. I just thought this is, even if I don't sell it, this is going in here somewhere. The little derpy animals. Mm -hmm. They go along with my derpy squirrels, child. So even if I don't or I can't sell it or the damage is too much, I'm going to keep it. It's mine. Or I'll sell it. Nonetheless, it'll be, look out on my Etsy shop, child, and she may show up. 
So I got that. Then I got, um, oh, I got this. I love these. These are really cool. These are like these vintage powder compacts. And um, there's a, it smells like a lady. So there's the inside. And there's the front, which is like a very little floral motif. And this was only a pound. Not mad about it. I just, I love these things. And it does smell like a lady. Just saying. Um, the next thing I got was these little cloison or um, hair combs. And I do okay with like hair combs like this. So these, let me show you. I think these were a pound 50 because I got them all at the same place and the jewelry seemed to all be a pound 50. So it's got all its combs. Detail on that. So I got those for a pound 50. Of course, I couldn't leave without getting a brooch. I like this because I like the little sunflower look of it. And it's good for what, everyone? Autumn. Yeah, I'm already thinking about autumn. Y'all know I am. So I got that little sun thing. And this was um, one pound 50. There's a little price tag. And then I got this necklace. I think it was, yeah, it was at the same place. And I liked it because... Although it was, let me just take it off this. It was on this hanger because they were hanging. Let me just, oh, 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 hang on, hold please. Okay, there you go. So I got this little choker, this little diamante rhinestone choker. I mean, look at that. It, all the rhinestones are in it. It does have an extender chain. I don't think the chain's original. I think they've added this extender chain. But nonetheless, this will be in my Etsy shop. I love this. This is so Oh my God, the rhinestones, the sparkles. Mm -hmm. Again, it was one pound 50. So then I got this. Okay, y'all. You know, when y'all see this, y'all know I lost my mind. This vase, it is Silvac, and I will show you. It has the original label on it. Looky there. So it's Silvac, and it was four pound 50. Again, a little higher than what I would normally pay for it, but I've seen Silvac go for really good prices so I wasn't mad about it that's the leaves on the front that's the leaves on the back I, am I gonna sell this unclear because it is autumn and I love it and you know this would so sometimes I'll keep something for a season and then move it along and sell it on that might happen with this guy because or I might just put him on my Etsy straight away not sure but it was just such a Great pieces. It doesn't really have any crazing on it either that I can see. Maybe slight crazing, but there's no chips, no cracks anywhere on this piece. And I loved it. So, oh, hello, Chica. Hi, darling. Okay. She's Chica. She's just being nosy. So then I got this and I saw this. It's got a little dirt on it. I got to get that dirt off, but I saw this and I loved it. It's like a sugar bowl, double-handed sugar bowl. Look at the design on it. It's just take the lid off and show you it has got silver accents on it and it's got that like really light blue color there and it is wait for it it was two pounds 60 again there's the price wasn't mad about it but then when I got home I didn't even look at the maker I, I was just like I want it I'm gonna get it but when I got home and peeled the sticker off it says sewn China Japan so it's a little Japan piece. I wasn't mad about it. I was like, okay, it's got a number 81899R. So for the little sugar bowl, all day, every day, I got that. So that was really cute. So the last thing I got was a set. <clears throat> now, try to show you all of it together. This depression glass set. Oh, isn't it pretty? But wait. So it was the under tray, it was a, the vanity tray, two candlesticks, a, a, like a little pot, trinket dish with a lid and a little just dish like this. So we'll start with this. This, I didn't think it went with it, but then Paul and Sam and then Sam, uh, Paul's mom convinced me it all went together. Like they're like, no, it goes with it. You're crazy. Because it looked different, but once you, I saw it a different light, they all matched and it actually does seem to be the same pattern on it. So this is a little dish here, just like a little, you would just put your rings or your change in it. So I like that. And then you have the two candle. And I love a good pair of glass candle holders. 
good condition. They hold about a one inch candle. There's a little wax in there, but we'll get it out. So they hold about a one inch candle, a taper candle. But aren't that, isn't that pretty? Oh, I love those. Yeah. I've got some listed now in Etsy shop. I just listed yesterday. It's just the candlesticks and they're so pretty. They're kind of like Art Nouveau. Oh, those are so pretty. And then it came with this lovely lidded glass dish. Now, it's pretty, isn't it? Only thing was when I was unwrapping it to do this video, I found that it had a big old chip out of it. You see that big old chip? Big old bite. So I bit it. <laughs> but, so I'm a little hesitant to sell it all now altogether. I mean, I'll sell the candlesticks and under tray together and probably this together. But I think I'm going to leave this out simply because of the damage on it. Now, that's not to say I won't use it because the color would look really good in a spring or summer display right back here with all this. When I change this out, I could use this. And also the top, if I take the top off, correct? Yes. And I turn it this way. You're not going to be able to see that little chomped out piece. A riser for a display. You could just use this as for a riser. I had some like these little dessert dishes and I put pumpkins on them in uh, the autumn. So this color will work from summer onward. I really will. You can really, I would really use this through all the way through autumn and Thanksgiving with my little pumpkin display. But I'm going to keep that. I think I'm, I'm not going to, you're not going anywhere. You're staying with me. Thank you. Keeping this. So the chip doesn't bother me at all. I'll put it in my display and I'll just turn it that way. You won't ever see it. So with the fairy light in it or those little candles, like the little battery operated candles, I've already got plans for her. So then the last thing was this under tray, which I was like the whole set was $4.99. So I was like, as soon as I saw it, I snatched it up. And I did. here's the thing. Let me go. Let's, let's go back. When... When I check this, I check this part because this is the part that usually gets jacked up. You know, the little lid and all this. That's the part. So, did she check? I mean, I clearly, I didn't check this part. And sometimes you get so excited, you see her, you're like, I'm going to get it. I don't care. But that's fine. Again, I'm going to use this in my own display. So, I wasn't really mad about it. I scored. And then, again, the under, under tray. It's good condition. I felt all around the edges. There's no chips, no cracks. A little chunk, no bite marks taken out of it. And I got that. So I think with the, I will definitely sell it with the, <clears throat> excuse me, with the candle holders and this, and I'll just sell it like so. So if anybody has, maybe they have a, a single dish they could, they want to put on there, that's absolutely fine. Whoa. Steady. I'll sell it as a set like that. So guys, that is my haul, y'all. Um, thanks for stopping by. What was your favorite thing? I have to admit that my favorite thing was, of course, that. It's just the colors, child. It nothing says mid-century modern than a planter with two giraffes for no apparent reason in a jungle, hanging out, mom and baby, waiting to put your flowers in there. So that's my favorite. Okay, y'all. So now on to Dolo Digs. Who are we going to talk about this week? Hold please. I'll be right back. All right, guys. Today for Dolo Digs, I'm going to do a new channel. Now, I discovered this channel whilst doing the collab with Katie from Vintage and Vinyl and Beth from Carolina Princess Sweet Treats and Pretties. Bring back the Clear Glass collab in 2022. She was one of the participate she participated in the collab she put a video up and i absolutely loved her video and that is fish chick thrift colleen now i will insert, insert her channel here i will insert her videos here and y'all go check out colleen she's a new channel so y'all go give her some love she has hauls she did the collab so and if she did this collab can you imagine all the other collabs she will probably be involved with when she starts to grow so I highly recommend, and I've seen her videos, they're cute. Her hauls are fun. So go check out Fish Chick Thrift Colleen on YouTube. I will put a link to her channel in the description of this video. 
and y'all go give her some love. Go on, check Harleen out. It ain't gonna cost you nothing. All right, guys. Thanks so much. Take care, and I will see you next time. Bye.